Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is O oh, Sing to God a Joyful Song. O oh, sing to God a joyful song. Come all on earth and join the throng. Blessed are you, Lord, our Creator. You bring salvation day by day, both in our work and in our play. Blessed are you, Lord, our Creator. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, all the nations praise your power. They stand assembled in this hour. Great are you, Lord, King of nations. Truth, power, majesty, and fame. Beauty and glory form your name. Great are you, Lord, King of nations. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray for the repose of the soul of Nick Anderchuk and a special intention for Jerome de Souza. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved daughters and sons, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Now concerning the matters about which you wrote, let each of you lead the life that the Lord has assigned, to which God has called you. This is my rule in all the churches. Now concerning virgins, I have no command of the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. I think that in view of the impending crisis, it is well for you to remain as you are. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek to be free. Are you free from a wife? Do not seek a wife. But if you marry, you do not sin. And if a virgin marries, she does not sin. Yet those who marry will experience distress in this life, and I would spare you that. I mean, brothers and sisters, the appointed time has grown short. From now on, let even those who have wives be as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as though they were not rejoicing, and those who buy as though they had no possessions, and those who deal in the world as though they had no dealings with it, for the present form of this world is passing away. The word of the Lord. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Hear, O oh daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty. Since he is your Lord, bow to him. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. All glorious is the princess in her chamber. The prince is decked with golden robes. In many colored robes she is led to the king. Behind her the virgins, her companions, follow. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. With joy and gladness they are led along as they enter the palace of the king. In the palace of ancestors, you, O king, shall have sons. You will make them princes in all the earth. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Friends, the theme of the scriptures today is that we are running out of time. How many of us feel that we have an endless amount of time? At my age, very, 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 very few people worry about passing away. Very few worry about heaven. If you're over the age of 65, it becomes a priority. Mortality is something a little bit more real. But 37-year-olds die every day. So if I were to die today, would I be ready to meet the Lord? This is what St. Paul was so worried about in his letter to the Corinthians. We spend so much time worrying about other stuff that if today was my last day, would any of that matter? What would matter but my relationship with God and the status of my soul? When's the last time you went to confession, my brothers and sisters? If it's longer than a couple of weeks or a month, it's too long. Our souls need to be ready for God. Because if the Lord came today, would we be like the wise bridesmaids who have their lamps lit? Or would be those, Lord, I didn't know you were coming. I need a little bit more time. You know those people who are perpetually late? That no matter what time it is, they're never ready? Does that frustrate you? Those of you out there who are perpetually late, you frustrate us sometimes. We can't understand how all of us have the same amount of time, yet some are great at time management. They're always early, they're prompt, they're ready to go. Those who are perpetually late, sometimes we ask the question, what do you do all day? How come this becomes a surprise? And yet when the Lord comes, he's going to say the same thing. I do not know you. You were not ready for me. What is your excuse? We've just heard in the scriptures that both Jesus and St. Paul have reminded us to be watchful and ready. But so few of us do just that. And then when tragedy strikes, we feel bad about not being able to say goodbye, that we love them, etc but rather our faith tells us that we are to experience the opportunity of grace in the moment. If we have to make peace with somebody, today is the day to make peace. If a prayer needs to be said, now is the time to say it. Don't put it off to tomorrow. We are not called to be procrastinators. Rather, we are to experience God and the opportunity of grace that is given to us today. In the Lord's Prayer, we don't say, give us tomorrow our daily bread, do we? Give us this day our daily bread. It's about experiencing God in the moment of the now. And so my prayer is that these scriptures will touch our hearts to start preparing ourselves now, today. How do I grow in holiness today? So if the Lord comes, I will be found watchful and ready not panic-stricken, not worried, but rather joyful, for the Lord has come.
Let us pray. The Lord desires joy for all his people and sees us in our needs. Let us bring our petitions before him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for church leaders. May God continue to conform them to himself, empowering them with a wisdom that is not their own, we pray. Let us pray for our elected and appointed leaders. May the Holy Spirit guide them in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death, we pray. Let us pray for those who are sorrowful, hungry, or cast out. May God provide hope and healing and relieve them of their burdens, we pray. Let us pray for this community of faith here at St. Joseph. May the sacrament we receive help us to grow in holiness and goodness, we pray. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for researchers to find a vaccine, for all medical and professional workers that are on the front line, that they may be kept safe, and for those who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Nick, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May the Lord bring them to his everlasting joy this day, we pray. Let us also pray for the tragedy that happened at our cathedral, that the Blessed Sacrament may be returned, whether the tabernacle is or not, we don't care, but that the Blessed Sacrament be, may be returned. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing, we pray. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts, Lord our God, hear the prayers we bring before you today and please answer them according to your holy will. We ask this in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may faithfully be united to you in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. By his suffering he has canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant Nick, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Paul, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Be
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Friends, as we prayed in the prayer of the faithful, if you've not heard the terrible news, early yesterday morning our cathedral was broken into, which is fine. But what isn't fine is what they took. They stole the tabernacle with Jesus inside, which is absolutely the worst thing that could happen in, to us. So I invite those at home and those here in the church that any prayers that you say, we don't need the tabernacle back. That can be replaced, but we want Jesus back desperately. So let us join our, our shepherd, our Bishop Burgi, and all the priests of the diocese who've been praying since yesterday as we ask that through the power of prayer, those who stole Jesus may return him without any questions asked. We pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Catherine of Alexandria, pray for us. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. All you who gather here to pray, Lift up your hearts and with us say, Blessed are you, Lord, our Redeemer. Here in this court with love comply. Offer your life on God, rely. Bless the Lord, our great Redeemer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia. Let all creation burst in song, sea, field, and forest teeming throng. We exalt you, living Savior. Come, Holy Lord, and judge the earth. Oh, come in judgment, bring new birth. We exalt you, living Savior. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God bless you.